All right, guess what time it is? It's Friday, and it's time for the latest update to H3VR. Look at that. Look at that. Finally, Anton has done it. He's added some real cool stuff this week. So, um, yeah, it's pretty pretty good stuff. Let's. Uh, uh, if you're wondering why I'm turning my controller this way, I don't think you can see it, but I'm using OVR Drop. I have the uh, patch notes, and uh, yeah, so so I can see. Uh, let's see. Okay, so let's start off with the um, first major thing that everyone's been waiting for: bayonets. So let's pick up the uh, M16 here. Let's grab a magazine. Everyone's been waiting to see this. This is like a very, very long-awaited uh, uh, little feature that everyone wants. But you got your bayonet here. This is the M9 bayonet. Used to be the D80. That was removed. Now it's changed to M9 because that's the real one, obviously. And you, all you do is just stick it on there. There you go. You got a bayonet. Uh, let me uh, stick a magazine in here. Hold on. Put this on. Let's put it on semi. Semi-auto. So, yeah, you know, bayonets um, act like, uh, you know, melee weapons. Let's spawn five sausages, obviously. And I'm going to go through this whole list. I don't know if I'm going to do it in one video because there's a lot of changes and there's a lot of weapons. So, <laughs> uh, yeah, this is going to take a while. If... Um, yeah, you know, hopefully I don't have to do two videos, but I'm just going to try to go through all these as much as possible. So you get your bayonets. They, uh, how do you take them off, though? That's the thing. Is there a way to take them off? I don't know how. I might be missing something. Huh. No? Hmm. Huh. That's strange. Oh, no. There we go. Okay. So you have to, uh... Oh, a little hard putting them on. Uh, that can be fixed, though. So instead of grabbing this, you have to grab this area right here. You see where the light, the, the little interaction sphere lights up? Right there. You click it, and you press touchpad down to remove it from the weapon. Oh, put it back on. And to, like, see, it's in my hand right now. I put it on. And then if I drag my hand while it's still grabbing the bayonet, it just, you know, comes off. So you have to actually release the bayonet from your hand while it's on the thing. Uh, let's stop talking and let's start stabbing. Oh, my goodness. Uh, <laughs> that's so cool. Uh, I can't believe that. That Anton finally got the bayonets to work. Ugh. Gotcha. <laughs> of course, armor. It won't penetrate. Standard armor. That's like the hard stuff right there. Oh, I'm getting really too close to my computer. <laughs> you can't see the uh, chaperone. It just pops up. But it's like right here. And this is my wall right here. I don't want to hit it. <laughs> this is going to be really tough on me now. So I got to watch out for where my walls are. There's one right here. And then there's a wall right here. And then there's a wall right here. Actually, a window. I don't want to bust that. Because that would hurt a lot. So let me just make sure I'm in bounds. So I'm going up to this guy. He's got armor on. Can't stab him. But you find the soft, fleshy part. I'll lift him over up like that. Ah, I <laughs> gotcha. There's still some problems uh, Anton needs to fix. He, he demonstrated it last time. But I can see what he was talking about. When you skewer a sausage. If the barrel of the gun goes inside the sausage, then you can't really shoot them. So you have to, like, you know, that, that close right there. But if you go through, it won't, you, you can't shoot them. So it just goes through. But if you just a little bit outside, you can start shooting these guys like that. That's pretty cool. Let's just take this guy out. Oh, well, exploded his head. Okay. Tuh. <laughs> That's never going to get old. Oh, that is so cool. I love that. So yeah, you've got the uh, the M9 bayonet. Let me see my uh, patch notes here. I think it's down at the bottom. Ooh, I got to scroll. But yeah, that adds the uh, a lot of bayonets there. We've got the... Uh, I don't know what model this is. I'm not too familiar with uh, AK-type weapons. But this is the AK bayonet. It was on just like that. Oh. 
again, you have to release. I keep forgetting that. You have to release your grip from the bayonet. Let's put that one down. Get that AK in there. I gotta, <laughs> let's clear all these saw sticks. I gotta try out each and every one of these new things that Anton has added. So, we got a guy here. You know, you got the hard armor helmet right there. Got the uh, Kevlar. Oh, I can pierce the Kevlar, okay. That's not the uh, plate armor, so you have to, with considerable force, hopefully I'm not hitting a wall here, but. Oh, in there, got him. Boom, oh, there's a guy right there. We gotta go, we gotta go stab him. Uh, oh, well, I didn't get him. <laughs> this guy right here. Right through the, uh, the little crack there. Actually. Yeah, shoot. Yeah. Yeah. Smart. Nope. Gotta get right in the, the, the little area right there. Oh, I missed. Whatever. Yeah. Got one more guy over here. Just gonna... Oh, yeah, you can also slice. I forgot about that. Wow, nice. All right, that's pretty cool. So those are bayonets. There's a uh, machine. Uh, there's a machine gun here. Don't worry about that. We'll, uh, you know, light machine gun. Next up are muzzle brakes, and uh, another commonly requested feature that people want, and Anton has delivered. Uh, you know what? Let's not use these. Let's try to use something uh, unorthodox here. Let me spawn a... I did a little sound check there <laughs> with the PX4 Storm. Let's go with... Um, I want to try uh, see if pistols work with this. Let's go with the uh, 5.7 here. Spawn this baby. Ooh, all right. So, yeah, you know. Um, what do they affect? Let me see. Uh, oh, wow. Let me just try to scroll this down here. Can I scroll the notes? Let me just uh, do a little scroll in here. Something about... Let's see, where is that? Oh, no, I think I didn't put it down there. I think, okay, all right. I'm trying to remember by memory what it exactly said, but the muzzle brakes affect the... Uh, what call it? the muzzle flash and the sound, not necessarily how loud it is for you, but how loud it is for the Sausage. So if you have like a Desert Eagle, for example, and you put on a muzzle brake, um, I actually don't know what, uh, what these are individually called. He has names for them up on the change log, but you put one of these babies on and uh, it'll expel like a certain pattern of gases or whatever. And you can't hear it. It's not It's not for you, it's for them. So I can't really show it here. Maybe I can, let me just see. Just have them wander. And I think I got this loaded, right? And yeah, you know, you, you can't really tell, but uh, it, it's, it's, you know, it's sort of a, something that, you know, happens internally with them. But yeah, so, oh yeah. <laughs> what, was I, what was I trying to do? Showing off the muzzle brakes by shooting off screen. All right. So, let's see how this works. All right, you got a little uh, flashes down there. Not nothing too exaggerated. This ain't a movie. This is a gun simulator. But yeah, you can see where where that's going. You can now attach muzzle brakes to a lot of weapons. Actually, I just got an idea. Let me uh, go back here. Go to. Uh, Submachine gun rifle. Let's add ourselves a Barrett. Make sure this is on, ready to go. Taking off the muzzle brake, I think you just uh, put the sphere on there, pull the trigger, and push down on the touchpad, just like any other attachment. And let me just try to put this muzzle brake on here. Oh, yes. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Oh. oh, I used up all the ammunition already. Oh no, what happened to my game there? Kind of went really weird. Whoops. It's pretty cool. Now you can put muzzle brakes and stuff. And uh, let me just try to reach over and grab this. 
let's just drop this for right now. Put that there. And uh, we'll try some of the other ones. Let's see. Uh, we got the uh, little bird cage here. Oh, you know what? Some of these have uh, names. Well, you know what? Let me just uh, let me scroll this thing up so I can find out the names of this. Oh, scroll it down, I mean. Okay, so the names of the muzzle brakes are the Bomber. I don't know which one that is. The Sharon, named after the uh, boatman on the River Styx. The Cobra, the Impact, the Orbit, the Sledge, Triad, and the True Point. So that's what? Three, six, eight. So we have eight muzzle brakes. Uh, they're not in the item spawner. I don't think many of these are in the item spawner because uh, Anton has yet to put them in there. Let me just check. Attachments, muzzle device. No, doesn't seem like it. Decorative? <laughs> I don't think they're decorative. Uh, yeah, so they're not in the mu they're they're not in the spawner, and that's why uh, the vault is disabled because they're not there yet. And you try to save one of these into the vault, it might uh, destroy your game. So that's bad. Don't do that. So we have eight muzzle brakes. This one is the classic uh, bird cage looking thing. Just stick that on there. Let me see if this is loaded. Ooh, nice little V pattern. <laughs> All the saucies are wondering where those sounds are coming from since they can't see me. But yeah, you get the idea. This one is a nice funky little compensator type dealie. This is loaded. Again, this is an alpha, so some of the effects may not be uh, ready, but it's just nice to know that you can actually do this. Oh. Looks like a little uh, tiny pyramid thing. I always have to check, make sure this thing is loaded. Oh, that's a nice little uh, muzzle effect there. I don't think you can see it, but. That's pretty cool. Take that out. We got this little uh, dude right here. Oh, oh, okay. Don't freak out on me now. Nice, nice. Oh, come on. There we go. Ooh, nice. I wonder if, like, the gas vents downward as well. <laughs> oh, it does. You can see a little bit of a muzzle flash down there in the bottom. Hopefully you can see that. <laughs> well, let's, uh, oh, something's going on with my game. A lot of lagging. There's too many guns in this scene. I can't wait to get down this whole list. <laughs> ah, look at that. Looks nice. I'm going to fire some of these just to move on. Oh, wow. That's pretty nice. All right. Well, you know what? I'm going to fire this one too. So. All right. Cool. Now that we have muzzle brakes and uh, compensators and whatever, you want to call these? We can have a lot of possibilities in the future. All right, so I'm going to go to the uh, light machine gun here because uh, it's just been sitting there and we need to get uh, get to some of this stuff. So, All right, uh, something you'll notice about the light machine gun, if you move it around a bit, you'll see that uh, the carry handles and, uh, well, I don't know. Uh, well, I'll show that too. But the carry handles now move, all right? But they just they, they you know they don't just move they're actually pretty useful you can actually grab them now and use them as a another uh, interaction point grab the uh, thing there I'm not a fan of the uh, Bren but because uh, of this magazine I'm left-handed so if you're if you're right-handed you would see this right but I'm left-handed so it's like this <laughs> so yeah you know you can carry guns now with the uh there's my there's my dominant hand my left hand my right hand is on the uh the uh, carry handle and uh yeah so now carry handles work they've got these jiggly bits jiggly wobbly things uh in fact you can see it here let me just uh you can see the little uh, 
Oh, what are these called? Strap. <laughs> uh, my goodness, there's a there's a term for this. Uh, strap, ring, rings. Oh goodness. Um, oh, let's see. Yeah, Bayonet. Uh, I'm looking through my list here. There's a lot on this list, so I have to scroll. <laughs> it's a full notepad list. So there's, I mean, I, like I said, I have to go to the computer and scroll this. But yeah, you got these uh, jiggly things. So yeah. Aside from looking cool and uh, also being pretty useful in uh, stabilizing the weapon. Uh, I need something with a bit more... I don't know, ammunition. <laughs> so let me just spawn in a, uh, another light machine gun here. Um, yeah, the M249 is pretty good. So let's just get a box. Let's stick this box here. Again, it's got that uh, carry handle that flips around. Really cool. You can use it, grab it. I think I'm using it. Yeah. Makes, uh, makes reloading easier. Well, you know, some people say it makes reloading easier. Not really too sure. Oh, that's a little, that's a little, you know, that'll be, that'll be fixed. Don't worry about that. Oh, yeah, I forgot. This one has a carry handle as well. Oh, no. I thought it did. Oh, no, the other sniper rifle. Sorry, the, the Hecate. Uh, let me just load that up. Anti-material. This baby also has a carry handle. One that flops around everywhere. Look at that. That's pretty cool, right? <laughs> but yeah, so um, another one of the changes that, that relates to the carry handle is bipods. Let's just get rid of this baby. So when you put a bipod down, stick it on the table or some flat surface, uh, the only way to, uh, before, the only way to remove a, a weapon mounted with a, a bipod would be to go to the bipod and click that. They're very time consuming, very annoying. Anton has made it a lot more easier. You can grab the carry handle. Bipod automatically folds. It's faster. I think you can also do that with the foregrip, but that's a welcome change. It works well with the carry handle, especially for weapons like this. You got a carry handle. You're laying down some fire. Did I? Uh... We gotta move. Grab the, uh, grab the uh, light machine gun. You're good to go. That's pretty cool. So, in addition to it being very decorative and, you know, I guess useful, you want to carry the uh, weapon like that. You can always carry it by the uh, foregrip or whatever. You know, you have a carry handle. That uh, that needs to be fixed. That would be fixed. That's yeah. That will be fixed. <laughs> Don't worry about that. Anton will fix that. So it's pretty stable. You can fire from the hip with a carry handle. Yeah, you know, that's cool. All right. You know, just some uh, little small minor change that actually makes it a lot better, you know, that makes the game a lot better. All right, let's move on to the uh, new stuff here. Again, relating to the bayonets. You've got uh, several bayonet models for several uh, weapons of uh, an earlier time. I think this is the uh, this is the M2, right? Pretty sure this is the M2. Actually, I have a list here. I don't know why I'm not using it. Okay, let me just scroll this up again. <laughs> it's a long list. It's pretty much like three pages if you put it into a text editor. But let's see. Okay. All right. M1 carbine. Okay, there we go. So this is the M1 carbine. It's got the... Uh, let me look at the list here. It's got the M1 bayonet. No, no, sorry. This is the M4 bayonet. I'm looking at the one, M1. That's for the uh, Garand. This is the M4 bayonet. Fits on this baby. You know, now you can go into battle. Looking cool. With your uh, M1 carbine. Oh, this... I didn't load a... Uh, Magazine on this. Oh my goodness. I have so many magazines. Let me just get rid of some of these. Sorry FN57 
and then you can stab things, cut them. You've already seen me do it. I'm not going to do it every time, but you can imagine that, you know, that's what happens with these kind of weapons. Of course. Really nice. Oh, and, um, did I mention that the M9 bayonet works with a lot of weapons? Hold on. So, yeah, in, in real life, the M9 bayonet works with uh, M16, M4, you know, like AR type AR-15 type weapons, but it also works with, oh goodness, where's the uh, shotgun here? The Mossberg, where is that? I'm looking for it. The 590A1 pump. So so if you need a bayonet for your uh, shotgun, well, you can stick this baby, oh, <laughs> this bad boy on there, and you can get up close and personal. Oh, safety's on, All right? Oh, no. Wait a minute. Hold on. There we go. All right. Let's just stick a couple of rounds in here. We got some sausages wandering around. I didn't kill them all. Oh, well, there's one. Boop. Boom. Shoot him in the head. So, yeah. That's the M9 bayonet. Let me just take this off. In addition, it's also a good melee weapon. Can you still? Oh yeah, you can still throw it <laughs> if you wanted to, or stab people with it. <laughs> All right. So let's go and check out. This is the uh, M1 carbine, right? Pretty cool. Let's put that there. This is the. Uh, oh wow, what was this? The uh, mat. Oh, I have a list. <laughs> I don't even know what I'm doing. This is the. Let's see, bayonet for the, uh, where is it? Oh, well, again, like I said, this is a long list, about three pages worth of stuff that I have to skim through. Um, oh man, okay, you know what? It's faster if I just do this. <laughs> I don't know why I'm doing that, but uh, this would probably be the, no, that's the SKS. Uh, I'm trying to look for it. Hold on. It's in here somewhere. I think it was a battle rifle. The Moss 49. There we go. So, yeah. It's got its own custom bayonet here. That should work. There we go. Looks pretty cool. Fire off a couple rounds. Awesome. All right, get that bayonet off. Can you throw this? Can you reposition it? Oh, well, yeah, there we go. <laughs> All right, now this, I know this one, this is the M1 Garand, and it's got the, ooh, where is that? The M1 bayonet. All right. Actually, when I'm looking through this list, I noticed that the, bay the bayonets can actually work with a whole range of other guns. So with the M1 bayonet, it can work with the M1 Garand and the M1903 Springfield. Okay. So, yep, there you go. Let's stick this baby in. Got that. Try to avoid uh, Garand thumb. Stick in the end block clip into the uh, internal magazine. And then, you, you know, you want to you wanna get into close quarters combat, you know, put on your bayonet. <laughs> of course, I'm not going to spawn another round of sausage. So computer's lagging already. Let me just uh, reload the scene here. Okay, back again. This one works with the uh, Springfield. I think one of these is a Springfield. This is a Springfield? Yes. Okay. We'll get to this one later because uh, there's a little nice, nice addition for this weapon as well. So yeah, these uh, bayonets can work on a lot of other guns. You just have to know which one, which ones they will work on. So like like I said, the M9 bayonet can work on the uh, M16, M4s, any anyway, AR type weapons, as well as the Mossberg. Uh, this one is. Oh man, um, I forgot what weapon this was. Uh, the SVT-40, I think. Um, 
I'm just gonna go by the the patch notes. Hopefully, I'm right. It's all in order. I hope. But we got the uh, what is this called? The SVT40 bayonet, right? Which fits like that. It's kind of hard to do. Let me just actually check if I'm actually right. Uh, SMG rifle, carbine. No, that's not a carbine. Uh, there is the. Yep, this is the SVT40. Okay. So yeah. Cool stuff. Uh, from what I see, that's the only weapon that works on. Okay. Oh. Wait a minute, hold on. I'm just, I just saw this. G36, the AK bayonet works with the G30. I can't really see what that, that word is. Oh my goodness. <laughs> no, I don't, I don't think that's the right one, right? Hold on. Let me just check something. Before I uh, go move on to the next thing. No, not lever action. Oh, goodness. Assault rifle? Oh. Um. Sure. Uh. Yeah, I guess that works. <laughs> uh. Yeah. G36. Okay. Now, there was a carbine one of these somewhere I need to find. Where is it? Oh, man. There's... Uh, one of the problems of this game, not really a problem, but one of the one of the <laughs> one of the problems. There's so many guns, it's hard to find what you're looking for. There it is, G36C. No, I don't think it works with a C. But uh, that's pretty cool. I didn't know that did that. Kind of looks weird. Uh, yeah, but uh, huh. I hope that says G36. That looks like. G3G for some reason on my screen. Got the low resolution Vive screen, so. So, yeah. Oh, what was I talking about here? This SVT40. This. Uh, oh, yeah, this isn't a bayonet. This is a scope for the. Uh, is this the Mosin? Right? Wait, hold on. No, no, no. This is the scope for the. Uh, oh, the Car 98. Sorry about that. I. Got them. I got these confused. This is the Car 98. I think this is the Car 98. Again, bolt, uh, bolt actions are not my uh, not my specialty. I'm pretty sure that uh, no, no, because the uh, the Mosin has a special uh, okay a special scope. So I think this is just for the Car 98. And uh, like Anton demonstrated in the video, you can't use stripper clips with the scope in the way. No matter how hard you try. So you have to put the bullets in. Oh, come here. The old fashioned way, which is just, you know, one at a time. Put that safety down. I don't have any uh, sausage. Let me just spawn some here. Let's go for a long range target here. Hopefully, my skills is a. Uh, H3 players uh, pretty, are pretty good. Okay. Oh, get out of there. Oh, that's weird. I, that uh, needs to be fixed. The uh, the the shell casings kind of hit the uh, top of the uh, the bottom of the scope there, and they kind of get trapped. Come on, get out. There we go. I think that was five. Let's just go close. There we go. I didn't need to scope that time. Okay. So yeah, we got a scope for that. That gun. Everyone's been requesting it. Because using the iron sights on this thing. Uh, how do you remove the scope? There we go. Alright, so uh, this next part here. Uh, you might notice these little tubes on the table. These are silencers. Now, when Hiram Maxim decided to uh, come up with these things, no one really thought of, uh, you know, calling them suppressors. So they're they're pretty much called silencers. So you know, you guys out there saying silencers, you're pretty much right. And uh, oh, oh, there we go. I'm sorry. Yeah. So you know, it doesn't really matter. Silencer, suppressor. 
but yeah, these are these are old retro suppressors, <laughs> if you want to call them that. And uh, let's see. Hold on. Let me let me look at these. Oh man, I need to scroll down again. A lot of patch notes today. Got to scroll down. Oh. All right. So yeah, these um. These do fit on a lot of the old retro weapons, and actually, there are... Uh, oh, I need to scroll down even more. <laughs> Hold on, sorry about that. Takes a while. Okay, so... I guess... Um, I'm not really seeing any other attachment, because there's a note here at the bottom uh, that says, Suppressor mount to various other weapons that don't have suppressors. So stuff like, uh, let's say you wanted a MP40. Whoop. Got a little too close there. That's fine, the MP40. Where are you? I'm trying to find you. I don't know where you are. There you are. Spawn a magazine. Let's get rid of these. All right, so. With the MP40, you can't put a uh, any modern day suppressors on this thing. Let's try a. Um, actually, I don't think you could. I think you could. Right? Could you? Oh, you could. Oh, well, yeah, ignore that. Uh, that was a. Uh, that was kind of, kind of weird. But I guess maybe that's a new thing, right? I've actually never put a suppressor on these uh, these classic weapons. <laughs> that is uh, pretty weird. But yeah, so you know, you got these retro looking suppressors or silencers as they're called. <laughs> Big cans that uh No, oh, we got some uh, tiny ones too. Oh, come on, there we go. I actually see if this works. Oh, it does. <laughs> you get a little tiny suppressor on the end there. Oh. All right, well, that's pretty cool. Now, well, like I said, you can have suppressors on some of these guns, including, let's see, where is that? Uh, let's have one of these, spawn these. Actually, I don't know why I spawned a magazine. I wasn't, if I wasn't gonna shoot it. You know what? Let's stick this baby on there. Wow, that looks really nice too. It's quite different from the modern day suppressors. So unfold the stock on this and uh, cool one more time cool stuff so now I think you can put um, well, 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 when I read the patch notes, I thought that these could only accept these types of old suppressors, but I guess now you can put suppressors on on a lot of these weapons. The, uh, oh my god, I don't know how to say this properly. The Wiskovitsa, right? <laughs> Hopefully I didn't butcher that. The MP40, Stenmark II, the 1887, this is the Terminator 2 ver version right here. Uh, the... Uh, 1873 Winchester. So yeah, I guess you can put suppressors on those now. Which you couldn't be able to before. Not too sure. I never really did try. <laughs> but let's uh let's just do one round here. Looks really weird with that suppressor. Let me try a smaller one here. Stick that there. Oh man, there's so many customization options now. There we go. Something a little more uh, appropriate, appropriately sized. I need to add more. I don't know what I'm doing, just adding one. Oh, I didn't, there we go. I managed to hit that. Empty. All right, cool. So you got a whole bunch of new suppressors. 
or silencers again. And uh, okay, so this is the, uh, oh man, I scrolled it a little too far. This is the Springfield. And uh, it finally gets its own scope. This funky looking thing. I don't know where to mount this. Is it here? Is it here? Where do you, uh, oh, there we go. <laughs> Which is kind of hard to use. Uh, but, uh, oh, this one too. I need to empty the bullets out of the clip there. Little stripper clip. And, uh, yeah, this is going to be a little tough to use. Anton kind of demonstrated that already. Okay, let's throw that out of those rounds away. And, uh, yeah, it's got a really small, you know, little uh, scope entrance thing. Gotta put the safety off. Oh, no. Get out of there. And I think you can put a suppressor on this thing, too. Yeah. Uh, actually, not this one. Let's try a big one. Where are them big suppressors at? Did I lose one? It's just underneath. Oh, oh no, I used it on the uh, MP40. Oh, now it's stuck. Okay, got this, this uh, big can on there. Oh, that's not the uh, right way. Lefty loosey, righty tighty. Well, I don't know if that makes sense anymore. <laughs> All right. Oh, really, really hard to see. <laughs> I can't see anything. I don't know how those guys did it, but man, they made it work. Come on. I'm not really shooting anything, but... I think also my trackpad is a little broken. But yeah, there you go. You got a scope. For all you people who want a scope on your uh, old World War II standby, there you go. You got yourselves a scope. I just need to take this off. Whoop. There we go. All right, so now this, oh man, I'm gonna have to look through the uh, patch notes for this. Uh, let's see. Oh, gotta scroll even more. Doesn't fit on one page. All right, so this I think is the Mosin. I'm not really sure. Because that's the, uh, the Einfeld, or the Enfield. Sorry, I said that wrong. So this, I think, is the Mosin. You got three new models here. Um, this looks like the 1891? I'm not sure. Huh. But, uh, yeah. I mean, it looks older. So maybe it is. I don't know. This this is the current one. At least I think so. Let me just actually check here. <laughs> oh, man. So many guns in this game. Bolt action. And a 38 Mosin. Yeah, this is uh, this is that one. Okay, so. So you've got three different eras here. Got the uh, really old looking one. Really nice. Anton added that so you can have, uh, you know, oh, wait a minute. No, I'm not done. I guess I'll just uh, go all the way there. Spawn another one. <laughs> There's just so much stuff in this update, I can't really keep up. Okay, all right. So this is, yeah, the uh, 1891. Yeah, it's a standard uh, Mosin. Moist Nugget. <laughs> Some people call it that. Then you've got your uh, the one that was already in the game. You know, nothing really special about it. And then you've got this one, which is the... Uh, is this a 9130? Huh. I think... Well, yeah, I, I'm, I'm not sure about why it's the 9130, but I do know that this accepts a scope. You got one of these old, uh, old retro Soviet scopes right here. You can see there's a cutout 
like Anton demonstrated in the video, and of course the bolt is bent downwards, but you can put a scoop on this thing. And uh, I think this one doesn't accept stripper clips anymore, so we're going to have to uh, grab these. Come on, get out of my... And stick them in the old-fashioned way. So now we got a scope for this, which is pretty nice. A lot of people have been asking, and Anton has delivered. That's why he's one of the best developers on this planet Earth. Oh, I missed. <laughs> I wasn't even aiming. But also, Anton has decided to add... Um, Let's see, where is that? Uh, oh, actually, there's another Mosin in here. Oh, I don't know, man. There's just so many, uh, so many differences. But uh, he's also decided to add this bayonet, which fits on the Mosin weapons. I think there we go. <laughs> but can also fit on other weapons too. So let's say you wanted a bayonet on this. Well, I don't know if you can actually do that. Let me just check. Can you? No? Oh, oh, oh. oh no. Oh, well, maybe not that. Uh, but he did demonstrate in the video. Oh, my controller is freaking out on me there. Sorry about that. He did demonstrate it in the devlog video by putting it on a Tech 9, which is over here somewhere. Machine pistol. I'll just do that now. There you go. Now you got a bayonet on your Tech 9 if you wanted to. I'm going to try something a little more uh, unorthodox. Let's, uh, let's see if... Uh, no. Let's try the SCX. Let's see if that works. I don't know if it'll work. Oh, it did. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Okay, it did work. All right. And then if you uh, if you need to... Oh, I'm out of ammo. I guess I'll just use my bayonet on my futuristic pistol. Yeah, come on. Oh, there we go. Oh, if you had two of these, that would be nice. Oh, you can't spawn this. That's right. Oh, I was going to spawn another one of these bayonets, but you can't. Because uh, they don't exist in the item spawner. There's a smaller one, though. Uh, uh, actually, I'll keep the long one. That's pretty nice, huh? Well, yeah, so you run out of ammo. You got this retro, old, old-style bayonet. See, I'm out of ammo, right? Let's grab this guy. I'm going to get you with my gun. The needle. <laughs> How about I grab you here and... Uh, yeah, come on. There we go. Finally. Throw you over there. Oh, I missed. Come back here. I want to do a running bayonet with you. Oh. <laughs> there we go. Finally. Gotcha. So yeah, you know, you can put these on anything, I think. Uh, make sure I'm not hitting my wall here. Let's try this. Yep, that seems to work. A little kind of strange looking, but... Uh, can't grab that. I really think you can put this on a... Uh, on a Bryn. I'm just not doing it right. Maybe I'm not. Huh. What else can I stick this thing on? Obrezd? Mosin? Oh, you can! <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa! Gun just freaked out there. Okay. I don't know what's going on. Don't, don't, don't get possessed on me. All right, let's see. Uh, something... What about a revolver? Let's try a revolver. Let's see if that works. The uh, Rhino. <laughs> tiny, tiny gun. I don't know if my control... I hope my controllers don't hit each other. Because that's going to be really tough. Oh, man. Uh, yeah, my controllers are hitting each other right now, so I can't really get the... Uh, 
can't really get the the thing in there. Oh man. All right, just to just to confirm, let me just spawn a bigger rhino here and uh, see if I can stick this thing on there. I don't think you can. No. And it's got this funky little uh, square uh, architecture, right? <laughs> what a design. There you go, square design. Let's try something with a rounder barrel. Uh, let's try the Nagant. Oh, whoa. Uh, yep. Seems like you can do that there. Pretty cool. You can stick this in your pocket. Ha! <laughs> All right, let's throw that away. Oh. I'm spawning too many guns. My game is slowing down. I need to get rid of these things. And I don't really want to reload my scene. So excuse me while I clean up. All right, so uh, let's see. Revolvers sometimes work. Machine pistols we've already seen. Uh, actually. Oh, no, no, no. You're not going to, you're not going to do that? No, no, doesn't work on the M9 Cleric. That's too bad. That's okay. I don't worry about it. You know, maybe Anton will, um, will make some more, uh, some more, uh, bayonets that, uh, work on, like, rails and stuff. So, you know, here's hoping. Let me just try it with the French Union. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> just, uh, get this, uh, Magazine in there. Get okay, a horseshoe with a bayonet. Oh, I'm out of ammo. What am I gonna do? It's my sausage. Gotcha. The true meaning of hot dogs and horseshoes. I just need hand grenades. All right, let me take this thing off. Oh man, there we go. My track pads are just terrible. Pressing down on them doesn't really work anymore, so I don't know what's going on there. MP5K. Can you? Oh, you can. Oh, something's wrong with my tracking. All right, good stuff. I'm not gonna shoot that off. Let's let's try something a little more uh, outlandish here. Let's try the uh, rolling block. Let's see if that works. Oh, what's going on with my tracking? Doesn't seem to work with the rolling block. That's okay. Many people use that anyways. Oh, another gun that I spawned. Great. Clean these up. Okay, uh, contender. Let's just see if this works. Oh, it does. Okay. Good. I don't need it. Oh, well, you know what? Yeah, you want to see proof? I can spend a whole entire video just trying out all these different accessories. See if they work with each other. Oh. Oh, the volcanic. I don't know if this is going to work. No, it's not. It's got some funky, uh, I don't know what's wrong with my tracking there. It's got some funky, uh, maybe, maybe it's because of this, <laughs> you know? It doesn't work like that, so. Let's not use the volcanic. Shotguns? Break actions? I do not think we'll accept, um, I don't think we'll accept bayonets. Flare guns, I don't think, because, again, they need to do that. And it's going to be kind of weird. No, nope. yeah, it doesn't seem like it's going to fit. But you know what? In the, uh, I mean, this is like, no, no possible way it's going to work. Ooh, get out of there. So break actions, two feds. Uh, yeah, probably. They might work. Let me try the uh, shorty here. Yep. Okay, nope, that snapped on really nice. Good stuff. Magazine fed. Yeah, if you wanted a bayonet for your scalpel, is it gonna spawn? There we go. And maybe, yep, yeah. oh, nice. Nice little funky, uh, okay, cool. All right, let's see what else. KWG-1, it's a fictional weapon. Oh, it does, kind of, sort of. <laughs> it looks like it's attached to the side there. <laughs> All right. Uh, what else? Lever actions, I think I've tried, but uh, do, I do I still have uh, 
the fraction here now did I I'll despawn it oh that's right you can't you can't do suppressors and uh, that bayonet mount but yeah I think I've tried it before yeah it just snaps on there it's pretty nice okay that's why we need uh we need bayonets that can attach to rails <laughs> Which Anton, I don't know, he might be working on that. Who knows? Um, FNP90. This is the last one, I promise. Oh, no. Come on. There we go. A little, little wonky, you know, but it works. Let me see if I can reload this thing. It's going to be upside down, I know. Because uh, it's weird like that. <laughs> And you run out of uh you run out of ammo. Oh, oh sorry, where did the sausage go? <laughs> gotcha. Get off my bayonet. So yeah, I mean uh these bayonets, there's I think two of them that can work. You've got this long boy right here. We just remove. Uh, throw that FNP9 anyway. And you got the short guy right here. So yeah, I can't wait to see what uh, kind of monstrous creations you guys will come up with. Uh, for this next one, I'm going to have to spawn another thing that I want to try out. But it's the uh, Delisle Carbine, Carbine, um, whatever you want to, uh, whatever way you want to, you want to pronounce it. But let me just grab this and uh, let's see. It uses uh, 1911 magazines, if you didn't know. Let's grab an extended mag here. Let's put these there. Come on, there we go. Uh, regular magazine, just in case for comparison. But this is like a special ops, um, what was that, World War II weapon? Bolt action, fires 45 ACP through these special magazines. I think they're the same. But uh, Anton has said that the uh, magazines are like, um, uh, that the, uh, sorry, the 1911 magazines work in this weapon as well. So usually it just be this one, but there are modified modern versions of this, of this rifle that can accept 1911 magazines, but you know, yeah. So put the safety off, whisper quiet, not really a thing, but you know, just an expression. Good for covert ops, you know, if you're part of the, um, what are the, uh, what are the guys, um, uh, in World War II, the British, uh, man, I can't remember, <laughs> it's been a while, but yeah, so, you know, again, like I said, it works with the, um, the 1911 magazines, although it looks a little funky. Did I not? Let's try it with the tactical magazine here. Oh, that's not the tactical. This is the tactical. That's a special one I'm going <laughs> to save for later. Nice long magazine. And you get the idea. Let's try the uh, Dillinger modified uh, extra long 1911 magazine here. A little bit of work needs to, you know, uh, needs to be uh, on there, but uh, that's pretty cool. <laughs> well, I think I need a Sausig. Spawn a couple more. Sneak up behind this guy, boom. Oh, oh no, I put it on safe. Don't know why I did that. Oh. oh, my trackpad is terrible. Instead of left, I'm pu I'm pushing up left, you know, because I don't know what's going on with my trackpad. But yeah, it's just all right. Well, you get the idea. 
It's a long magazine. Pretty cool weapon. Uh, yeah. Very nice. Well, let me just get rid of these. Actually, I'm going to reload the scene one more time before we get to these final guns here. Because, yeah, there you go. Finally, some people asking for uh, for other Lee Einfeld, Ein, Einfield <laughs> uh, style, style rifles. You got them. All right. So I think this is the original one. This, uh, whoa, I didn't know these things were movable. <laughs> oh, that's pretty cool. I always just thought those are things you just shoot and, you know, whatever. But you can actually move them. <laughs> Sorry about that. I can't jump. I got distracted. All right, uh, back to business. So we got the original one here, which um, is pretty cool. But Anton is, uh, has uh, made it so that you can remove the magazines now, which is... Uh, Oh, come on, trackpad, I swear. Oh, trackpad, don't do this to me. Come on. Uh, you know what? I'm going to switch wands here. I'll just uh, The other one's not so bad, so I can... Yeah, see, there we go. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, these Vive trackpads. They're so bad. But anyways, uh, yeah, so you can take the magazines on and off now. And uh, there's a scope. You can stick them onto the uh, the uh, Lee Einfeld. Hopefully I'm saying that right. And yeah, pretty nice. I'm not going to use it. But it's there. Uh, you can't also, you can't put the stripper clip on because the scope is in the way. But, uh, oh, I used up all the ammunition, didn't I? That's great. Oh, wait, no, I can take out the magazine. <laughs> I forgot about that. So let's just spawn lock a magazine there. All right. Oh, come on. This one, this trackpad is also starting to get worn down. Let's just, uh, yeah, let's drop that magazine. Oh, yeah, like I said, you can put this on the... Uh, on uh, certain weapons. That's nice. Now you've got the, uh, oh, where did it go? Oh, here it is. The, let's see. So that one is a model replacement slash upgrade. So it's just like, uh, you know, the old model was not that good. So I guess Anton decided to replace it. This is the jungle carbine or carbine, whatever you want to call it. So basically a shortened version. Uh, not that short, but, uh, yeah. Uh, safety is not working. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Whoops. So, yeah, you know, it's a carbine. Shorter. You can also use the scope on this if you wanted to. Not bad. Uh, and then this is the oh, <laughs> wrong hand. This is the Obrez. Look at this cute little thing. Oh, so tiny. Huh. There we go. Let's just drop that magazine, put a new one in. Also, you can use a scope. So if you really wanted to, you can use a scope on this thing. All right, let me just take the scope off. And then for the final, I think, oh, wrong hand again. For the final little addition to the uh, game is the Lee Einfeld H3 Sweden mod. Just a little fun thing made by the modeler of these weapons, Stefan Engdahl, who's from Sweden. I guess that's why it's called the Swedish mod. But it's uh, basically a <laughs> a ridiculous looking chopped up Lee Einfeld. Oh, you can actually put uh, ammunition here. Let me actually see if you can. Oops. No, come back here. Oh, my trackpad is not working. 
Come on. Oh, well, that's just shame. Can you put, oh, you can put uh, rounds in there. All right. Not bad. Not bad at all. All right. Let's just throw those away. Well, let's put a uh, scope on this thing as well. I love how the uh, sight flips down or disappears when you put a scope on. Got a nice little uh, <laughs> unique Let's go uh, spawn some sausage here. Beep, beep, there we go. Oh, those two are doing the dance of death. <laughs> Come on, before they explode. Oh, I'm out. There we go. A little bit hard using the scope. I don't know if you can see that. Oh, this guy's still alive. Oh, I was expecting to be like some attachment places, points or something like that. You can stick a laser on this thing, but uh, you know, that would be even more ridiculous. I don't think we need uh, any more of that. But yeah, it's a pretty cool weapon. Uh, I'll just... Did I not load a new round in there? There we go. Oh, we still have some more. You know what? Forget about it. <laughs> it's empty. All right. But yeah, this is the H3 uh, Sweeted mod. So, pretty cool. I like it. All right. Uh, what else did I uh, miss here? Uh, let's see. Car 98K Bayonet, which is... Uh, huh. Does that... Uh, did I get that one? Huh. I don't know if I did. Let's see, what else? Uh, the Einfeld bayonet, I think that was the one over there. Uh, 4440 Winchester cartridge. Got the Maxim silencers. With and without mounting coupling. So basically this little area right here is the, I think the mounting coupling. Uh, what else? Oh, let me uh, find my patch notes here. Oh my goodness. Okay, let's see. Toggleable integrated bayonet to SKS, huh? Let me just check that out before I stop this video. Uh, nope, not support. This is battle rifle? No, I don't think it's uh, maybe a carbine. <laughs> hmm. Pretty sure it was. Nope. Wait, hold on. Um, sorry about that. I need to find it. SKS Classic. Ah, there we go. So this one has a toggleable bayonet. Uh, Anton didn't show off, but uh, yeah. Pretty cool. Put that strip clip on there. Boom, 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 boom. And then you can just stab. Huh, like that. And if you want to put it back, just put it back. Uh, I don't think the SKS Modern has a bayonet. This, uh, yeah, no, it doesn't. Oh, uh, what else? Let me see. Um, carry handles to the BAR, Bren, M249, Galil, Fal, and Falpera. Heck it, you saw that in the video. Um, let's see. All right, M9 bayonet mount. Uh, huh? Mm-hmm. Okay. Jiggle bone sling rings. That's what they're called. Sling rings to all sorts of weapons. Oh my goodness. That's a lot of weapons. All right. Let me scroll again because that's not the end of it. There's a lot more changes. Uh, I'm also uh, using OVR drop and I haven't used it in a while, so I forgot how to do it in game. <laughs> how to scroll. Uh, activating bipod, we've already talked about that. Uh, pick up the firearm by a foregrip, uh, gets rid of the bipod. 
the Lee Einfeld Enfield Enfield I think it's Enfield rifles uh, have removable magazines uh, the issue where the suppressors would vibrate that's been fixed um, all scope reticle positions okay so that was a uh, one problem uh, with these scopes I was playing the sniper range yesterday and uh, I was kind of amazed that Anton hadn't fixed it yet but uh, let's see where is it let's spawn in a Dragonov and you get the uh, PSO one scope, and this, this like, uh, let me just put that on. The the uh, reticule inside the scope here was pretty bad, so I think he fixed it. Yep, it's pretty much fixed. Let me just go with a bright red here. So I mean, it's uh, you know, it's not quite there yet, but it's better than last time. <laughs> last time you could only see like the top line there. And uh, it was kind of terrible. But now you can see at least more of it. Uh, let me just spawn a magazine here just to, just to mess around. Oh, it's kind of so large. Uh, let's spawn some sausages. So now you can see that the reticule is kind of in the uh, inside of the scope. Hmm. All right. Oh, wrong hand again. Oh, it says right there, fixed reticule to on PS PSO one scope. Uh, incorrect tracer color. Uh, that's just some stuff right there. Uh, description stuff. Uh, stock position for Spectre M4. That's uh, something that we don't need to really see. Uh, some foregrip fixes. Remove the D80 knife. So basically. Um, what he's talking about there is, uh, well, yeah, this is the D. This is the M9 bayonet. I think. Well, it's a, it's a, it's a sort of M9 like bayonet. But uh, yeah, it was called the D80. It's been removed, and you have this. It's not in the item spawner yet. So, uh, what else? Let me just scroll down a little bit more. I think we've reached the end. And, uh, yeah, the vault is currently disabled, and that's pretty much it for today. It's a very long video. I don't know how long this is. Let me just check. Oh, man, it's an hour. <laughs> so, yeah, there's a lot of content in this update. Um, and uh, it's only an alpha, so it's not really in the game technically yet. But uh, I can't wait to uh, to uh, for all this stuff to be actually in the game, working properly, without any bugs. And... Uh, Especially the uh, the muzzle brakes and the compensators here. I can't wait to customize my guns. I have a good idea what I'm going to do when we finally get the vault back. I was probably going to spawn my... Uh, let's see, where is it? Before I stop this video, I'm going to try to do a little bit of customizi uh, customizing. Uh, Mark 18 custom? No, it's... Uh, where is it? I'm looking for it. There we go. My left hook. My baby. Spawn this baby right here. Um, I also had a uh, laser. No, no, no. I had a laser light. Okay. Let's do this. And then, where's my laser here? I had a tactical laser. Oh, actually, no. I don't think it was the left hook. Get rid of that. <laughs> it was the the Mark 18 custom. Yeah, this this one. All right. And then, because it didn't have the uh, front sight post, so I could stick a. Oh no, that's not the right place. I wanted to stick the laser there. There we go. Uh, let's see attachments. I'm looking for oh there it is. <laughs> I was looking for that. Put the little uh, sight there, and uh, you you know you get what I'm talking about, right? So now you can like customize stuff. I was gonna add a muzzle brake on this thing. Which one should I like? That one looks okay. Although, <laughs> let's move the uh, flashlight back there. <laughs> all, all those gases are gonna break that. That uh, flashlight. 
Oh, that's not a good idea. Uh, let's see. What am I going to put? This one. Hmm. Hmm. Nice. Oh, wait. Hold on. Where's the... Uh... Oh, can I not put it on this thing? Oh, that's too bad. There's no mount for it. <laughs> so, yeah, you know. It's still in alpha. Uh, it's not really uh, ready yet. But uh, when it does come out, it's going to be really cool. I mean, you know, I mean, you, you can play around with the stuff here, but you can't save anything or bring it out to take and hold or anything like that. So, yeah, it's technically not, not released, but uh, it's still pretty cool. So, yeah, this video has gone on too long. It's a very big update. Sorry about that. If you were expecting a shorter video, uh, well, I can't help it. You know, you have to take that up with Anton. He's the one uh, releasing a massive update. So, yeah. Yeah, that's it for today. I'll see you guys next time. Hopefully we get more stuff. Because uh, we got a whole month of this. <laughs> Anton's going to be spoiling us for a whole month. <laughs>